It was somehow reassuring that he at least understood musicians, even if he was also willing to take them prisoner. One awkward silence later, a Nilsland raiding party was galloping into view, all of them with weapons at the ready. Their leader, dressed similarly to her mysterious captor, readied his weapon upon seeing her and urged his horse to the front of the pack. The soldiers galloped around once and slowed to maneuver their horses into a circle around her. Before any violence could come to her, Lily's captor pulled his helmet off, scratched his fingers through tamped down dark curls, and pointed an accusing finger at her, glowering at his men. What is this? he demanded, ruining any appeal he might have had by talking about a living, breathing person as a thing. Of course, this was also when he turned to glare at her, and Lily Nova of Tresterville found herself facing down the same man who had killed her in another timeline. The same man who had pitied her. The same man who would lay waste to her country. The Dark Duke himself. He was still the same man, even with his mouth turned down in a snarl even with deep eyes that radiated the disdain and malice he felt. 